Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Today I have three unboxings slash unbaggings for you guys. So instead of making a separate video for each one of these, I decided to make one big video with all of these unboxings. I got a Tackle Warehouse unboxing, a simple fishing unboxing, and a Bass Pro Shops unbagging. So let's get right into it. We'll start off with the Bass Pro Shops. First off, I got the Bass Pro Shops bait, cas bait casting reel cover. All of my reels, all of my rods have covers on them. I like keeping everything in mint, in mint condition, so that's why I bought this one. Right here, I need another one just because I, I, I picked up a new reel. So, uh, moving on. We got, there you go, we got the um, Stormarashi uh, Deep Rattling Deep 10. I have used the Silent uh, Deep 7, I think it's called, or Flat 7. Um, I got it in my Mystery Tackle box. I was really impressed with the bait, so I decided to pick up um, a deeper, uh, deeper Storm Arashi uh, crankbait. This one dives to 10. F this one dives to 10 feet, and it's in a bluegill right there, as you guys can see. Moving on. I have the Bass Pro Shops Tourney Special Crankbait. This guy was on sale, decided to pick it up because uh, why not? Um, I need some more um, crayfish, crawfish, uh, red color baits, or crankbaits, so I decided just to buy it. Moving on, I got the Rapala Scatter Wrap Series. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Scatter Wrap Series. I have yet to try the deep diving one, though. This was the one that dives to 10 to 12 feet. Um, I really want to give this guy a go just because I like the shallow diving one so much. Um, it dives to 10 to 12 feet, and this one is in mole, Mule. Right there. Perfect. Moving on, we got the Little Bass Pro Shops da Dashing Jack. It's like, um... Uh, Jigging wrap right there. Just bought it for ice fishing. Nothing too special right there. It's in a, a white minnow color. Next, we got the Bass Pro Shops tube he jig heads. Um, I've yet to use the Bass Pro Shops um, jig heads or anything like that. And I wanted to give these guys a go just because I do not have any 1 8 ounce tube head jigs. Um, these have VMC hooks on them, so they can't be um, too bad. But I'll take it out of the package right here. As you guys can see, it has a very, very, has a very, very small uh, weight at the top right there, which is exactly what I wanted. Next, we got the Bass Pro Shops Laser Eye uh, Spook right here. It was also on sale, decided to pick it up. Plus, I do not have a bone colored uh, spook, so I wanted to uh, buy one. So I picked up the Bass Pro Shop one just because it's a lot cheaper. Got some Bass Pro Shops stickos. These are the three inch ones. These are the ones, these are the baits that I use for Ned, Ned rigs. I was running quite low, and I wanted to give this color a try. This is in. Blue Craw. It's a green pumpkin with some blue uh, tint to it. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. But um, it's kind of like the Gambler Back at you color. Uh, I really do like the color. I decided to pick some up. This is like a pack of pack of 16, so these should last me a little bit. But uh need some more Ned Rig baits. And here we got some KVD Perfect Plastics Game Hogs. Uh, I love the Zoom baby brush hogs, so I wanted to give these guys a go. I, technically what it is is a baby brush hog. It's a 4 inch uh, game hog in blue craw. Again, it's that green pumpkin with a uh, blue tint to it. And they do have the coffee scent. You guys can see right there. Instead of the um, cylindrical, cyndrical, um head, they have the uh, have flat sides to them. But as you guys can see here, it's initially just a baby brush hog. I can't wait to give these guys a go. Bass love the coffee scent as well, so I may have a little bit of an advantage using these guys instead of the brush hogs. But we will see about that. And last up, we got the Spike It Dip and Glow Marker. Chartreuse and red. 
Um, I'm not a huge scent person, but I want to give it a go. I want to use it a little bit more often. So I got the chartreuse color and the red color. And this is the uh, Spike It scent. The Game Fish double tip marker. That's what it is. So that's it for uh, Bass Pro. Next up, we'll go to the Simple Fishing package right here. Most of you guys don't know, but Simple Fishing has an on online uh, store as well, which is what I ordered from here. All right, there you go. I thought my camera had died, um, which is what I ordered from. So uh, let's open this guy up. There you go. I got the receipt right here. The Bass Bass Pro, I spent $80 here. We got ourselves about $35 worth of stuff. I, I just, I really only order Rapalas, but it looks like they threw in a couple of extra stuff for me, which um, is great. So let me just read this. Thanks for the order, Isabella. Hope you enjoy the bonus lures we've added. And I'm sure I will. So, start off with the Rapala X Wraps. I ordered two of these guys. Um, these are the X Wrap Deeps right here. Um, I'm more of a deep uh, jerkbait fisherman, I guess you could say. Um, I don't have any Rapala X Wraps, deep diving X Wraps, so I decided to pick some up. This one is an olive green. There goes that. <laughs> And this one is in Glass Ghost, and these dive 5 to 10 feet. Let me just hold it up for you guys. Hopefully you guys can, can see that somewhat. It's all green, and that's the Glass Ghost right there. Perfect size for smallmouth, in my opinion. Next up, we got... Uh, DT6. This one is in Marty Marty Live Largemouth. I'm a huge DT uh, fan. I have a lot of luck on the DT10 series, and this is uh, DT6 right here. It's in Marty Live Largemouth right there. Super realistic color, quality components to it. Super excited to use it. Next up. We got, this is right here, this is an extra thing they threw in for me. It's a Bass Attacker Bass Fuel, which is made in the U.S. You guys can see right there, it's a scent, I'm guessing. Bass Fuel, not for human consumption, so it's probably a scent. Let's open it up. You guys can see right there, Bass Fuel is kind of like a pen shape, and let's open it up. Oh man, it stinks. It's like a garlic scent to it. And it has like a little... You guys have those um, after bite little things where you, you dab them onto your skin. That's kind of what the tip of this looks like. So, uh, can't wait to give this guy a go. Like I said before, I'm trying to get into scents a little bit more this year. Uh, next up, another extra thing they threw in for me is this glow-in-the-dark uh, spoon-style jig. Right here, let me open it up for you guys. I'm not a huge spoon fisherman, so I'm not quite sure how to use this, but as you guys can see right there, spoon with a single hook with the rubber thing on top of it. So this should probably work really well for ice fishing, actually. Moving on, we got uh, two scatter wraps. These are the Rapala scatter wraps, the O5s. These uh, dive between six and eight feet. One of them is in Smash, and one of them is in Blue Black, blue Back Herring right there. So I'm a huge fan of these scatter wraps, so I picked up two more. <laughs> Next, we got the Rapala, another Rapala scatter wrap. This one is the Countdown series. Dives uh, six to nine feet, and this one is in Golden Alburnas. That's a weird, okay. <laughs> it's a really, it's like a shiny uh, perch color almost. Take that out of the package for you guys. Hopefully you guys can see these pretty well. The sun's going down. That's that right there. I've yet to try the countdown series. I'm excited for that. And the last two baits they gave, or they um, added as bonus baits, the Lucky Bug Bingo Bug. 
bingo bug. It's a small little um, handmade lure right there. You guys can see it's for trolling, for spinning, and for, for fly rods. Probably try it for trolling. And some Johnson swimming grubs. Grubs always catch fish. Happy for these guys. You can never have enough grubs in your boat. Especially when you're teaching new people how to fish. I love give, just throwing them uh, a grub on the spinning reel, getting to chuck it out, and um, getting small mouth and large mouth to bite. It's a huge thrill. And that's it for the Simple Fishing box. Alright, so last but not least, we got the good old Tackle Warehouse unboxing. Um, I took advantage of the 25 days of saving during Christmas, and I won a $100 gift card on Instagram. So I took advantage of that. This Tackle Warehouse order is exactly like $99 and something cents. Um, let's open her up. There you go. Some tape stuck to me. Uh, here we have uh, the sticker right here. Tackle Warehouse, Tackle Warehouse sticker. Return um, sticker address thing. And the receipt. I do have two things on back order. I have uh, the tro laser trocar round bend uh, treble hook size 2 and size 4 on back order. Trocar, or Tackle Warehouse was having a sale on trocar hooks, so I decided to pick some up. Um, but let's get right into the baits. I got a pack of the Gambler uh, Burner Cross uh, in the color Back At Ya, which is the green pumpkin um, purple, um, green pumpkin blue um, color that I also bought at Bass Pro. I was introduced by, to these baits by Mystery Tackle Box, and I really did like these baits, so I decided to buy some more. As you guys can see right here. It's green pumpkin with some blue uh, swirl to it. I really like these baits a lot. So I got some more. <laughs> um, next up, we got some Sunline, Sunline FX2 braid, uh, flipping and pitching braid. Uh, I've heard amazing things about this braid, so I decided to try it out. This is a 60 pound, uh, 60 pound uh, line. Dar in dark green, and it's 125 yards of it. Next up, we got, let's leave those to last. We got the Biwa, or Biwa Biwa uh, Armor Craw. These are the four inch baits. Take these guys out of the package. Biwa is a French company. That I also was also introduced by Mystery Tackle Box, and I really do like the look of her craws, so I decided to buy another pack of them. They stink. <laughs> They're pretty compact craws, you guys can see right here. Uh, can't wait to get these guys out on the water. And these are in Green Pumpkin. Next up, let's go with this Storm Arashi. Uh, spy, spy bait or spin bait. I want to get into spin baiting a little bit more, so I decided to pick up another one of these. This is the slow sinking uh, bait. This one is in green olive, and it is one third of an ounce, as you guys can see right there. It's like a perch color. I'm probably gonna have to throw this guy on some spinning gear. We'll have to see, but um. Can't wait to get this guy out on the water. Um, I've heard spy, spy baiting and spin or spin baiting, I guess in this case, um, has been killer for some lethargic smallmouth and schools of fish. So I decided I'm deciding to get more into it so I can just catch some more of those fish. Next up, uh, we got the eagle craw. Eagle Claw Trocar Helix Hooks. These are the size 1 drop shot hooks. As you guys know, I use the drop shot hooks with the swivel on them just because um, I have less line twist with them. Um, I, and I use size 1 hooks. So I decided to give these uh, Trocar hooks a try. I have only used um, VMC spin shot, spin, spin shot hooks, so um, I want to see how these guys compare to those. Uh, next up, I got... Two packs of the Lucky Craft uh, KJ Flat. As you guys know, Lucky Craft was having a huge sale. Um, their RTOs was like five or six bucks. Same with these guys. These guys were also on sale. Um, these are the Silent 1.5 Square Bills, I guess you could say. This one is in Watermelon uh, Craw, as you guys can see right there. 
Hopefully you guys can see pretty well. The sun's kind of going down. But, um, and this is in T.O. Shad. This color looks pretty cool, as you guys can see right there. Can't wait to give these guys a go. I've never used Lucky Craft baits before, just because they're insanely expensive up here. So, um, I can't wait to give these guys a go. I've heard amazing things about all of the Lucky Craft baits. Next up, we got two of the Lucky Cra Craft RTO 2.5 uh, square bills. I wanted to go with some uh, 2.0s, but they didn't have any um, colors that I liked left. I kind of waited a little bit too long. But the 2.5 size will do. I've caught a bunch of fish on the 2.5 size square bills, so I'm not too worried about the size. Uh, I got the BP Pumpkin Seed and the BP Table Rock Craw. That's the pumpkin seed right there, as you guys can see. These are silent, I believe. Yes, they're silent, and they weigh half an ounce. Silent one right there. And we have the silent table rock claw right there. It's a very nice looking color. Again, I've never used these, so I can't wait to give these guys a go. Um, super high quality baits, I have heard at least. And uh, again, I haven't used them before just because they're so expensive up here. And last but not least, the bulk of this order, we have the Bass Mafia uh, Coffin, I think it is. So let's take this guy out of there. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this box. I bought this box for my terminal, t terminal tackle. Um, previously, the box I have now, it's not waterproof, it's a Plano box, and it's not the highest quality. Um, I wanted something a little bit more higher quality, waterproof, and that has more comp uh, compartments that I can um, store my stuff in, stay organized. So I decided to go with this Bass Mafia box. Um, it is on the price the end, I think it was like $30 or something like that, but um, this is, this looks like a tank. <laughs> so let's open her up, you guys can see on the inside. Oh wow, yeah, that's awesome. Look at all those compartments you can have. That's gonna be awesome. I'm huge with staying organized and keeping everything nice and uh, in good shape and everything like that, so I can't wait to uh, give this Best Mafia box a go. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this was, uh, these three boxes were the majority of my winter slash spring restocking uh, stuff. There's a couple of things I still need to buy and there's a couple of things I still want to buy just to try for the next season. But all in all, this is, um, this is my restocking, I guess. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll leave all the websites down below in case you guys want to pick any of this up for yourself. If you guys like my sweater, click the link down below. It will take you to the Fishing Icons uh, website. You guys can order some sweet apparel. Um, I also have a discount code you guys can use to save some money. And uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. If you guys like this video, please give it a like. It will help me out a lot. If you're not yet subscribed, please make sure you do. Uh, any questions, any comments, leave them down below. All my social media is also in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.